Hey, how are you doing? It's me, Hatch, and him, Stu. Today we're starting our Blast from the Past series, which Hatch will briefly explain. So, we'll take a film or TV show or anything, but mainly film or TV show, that's already come out, and we're going to talk about it. Today, our topic is... Da, 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 da. For the Love of Mrs. Brown. I have seen this many times, but we watched it together... Yeah, yesterday. Yesterday, again. So this will be our topic of discussion for the rest of the video. Now, For the Love of Mrs. Brown is a recorded show from their live tour of 2014. It's a very good recording, and there's quite a bit of improvisation. An entire scene where Brendan O'Carroll just com goes completely off the script, and the but, actors are left dazed with what to do. But lots of the characters and the actors manage to keep up, which is funny to watch. The cast of Mrs. Brown's are some of the best when it comes to improv. We also have an announcement, which is we will be going to see them again in the summer. It's very exciting. We saw them last year with the musical. That was very good, the musical. It was very fun. And we're now going to see them again with the live show. Oh. 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 This show is based around Valentine's Day, and there. it includes many jokes about how Mrs. Brown is a s slight bit overweight and how she is unable to get a date. Many of the characters joke about weight and how each other could lose weight, but all of them mainly target Mrs. Brown, which is actually quite funny to watch. Yet Mrs. Brown is quick-witted and turns on Betty and Maria with weight insults, witticisms and jokes to them. Yeah, she does. My personal favourite quote from this recording is from one of the scenes where there's a lot of improvisation. Mrs. Brown goes, the ball is in and the game is on. This scene is very funny because the improv is outstanding. The comedy is fantastic. I think I could watch hours of Mrs. Brown's Boys Back Definitely, back. definitely. In fact, we actually watched two live show recordings, which is... Yes, we also watched yeah. one called How Now Cow, Mrs. Brown, I believe. Yeah, and so we actually watched four hours of Mrs. Brown for just... That's a lot of Mrs. Brown, and honestly, not one minute of it was boring. Within the Mrs. Brown's hierarchy, this live show recording definitely comes within the top tiers of it. It is an extremely funny show with great improv and and the scripted stuff is also fantastic. I think that our joint favourite scene is series one, episode one of Mrs. Brown's Boys called The Mammy, I think. And it's a scene, the badges scene, where the badgers, yes. Kathy forgets the badges within the camp. And Mrs. Session. Brown won't stop going on about the badges. And then as the scene progresses, she gets the penguin mask and starts ranting about how Kathy abused her mammy. But then it gets revealed at the end that it was all part of their plan to get Maria and Dermot to make up again. So, good plan, Mrs. Brown. Very good plan. It worked very well. Yes, it did. We very much enjoyed the festive... 2019 specials of Mrs. Brown's Boys, didn't we? Yes, both the Christmas and New Year specials were very good with a lot of improv and which was very funny. They were very highly praised by the audience and personally, I liked the part in the New Year's special where Peggy Piper, who poisoned her partner Peter Piper by popping poison powder in his perno, was getting out of prison pending an appeal. I think you deserve a round of applause for that one. Thank you. That was very good. Did you like that part of the episode? What part? The part where Peggy Piper, who poisoned her partner Peter Piper, by popping poison powder in his perno, was getting out of prison pending an appeal. Oh yes, that part. I like that part. Yeah. That was a very good part. So from me, Hatch, and him, Stu, we'll see you in a few weeks for our Doctor Who Complete Series 12 review. Goodbye.